are you hungry for some stocks hitting new highs? Hershey, J.M. Smucker, Hormel, and Tyson are just some of the names that are soaring this year and trading in record territory. But while investors feast on these food names, others in the group aren't as appetizing. Courtney Reagan tells us why. The average U.S. supermarket carries nearly 40,000 different products, including both national and private label brands. Getting consumers to choose one product over another is nothing short of a monumental task for food makers. But many of these more than a century old iconic food companies are still topping the shopping lists of both consumers and investors, despite the attraction of lower prices on grocers' private label brands. By offering uh, innovative new products and by supporting their brands with marketing, these big companies are better able to fend off the threat of private label alternatives. Companies like J.M. Smucker and Hershey have gigantic marketing budgets to offer consumers promotions and blast them with advertising to make sure shoppers know about new products and remember old favorites. With a name like Smucker's, it has to be good. In addition to stable sales growth, food company stocks are relatively low risk, higher dividend yielding investments. As a group, food company stocks are up 30 percent so far this year, bettering the returns of the benchmark S&P 500 index. Hershey, J.M. Smucker, Tyson and Hormel hit fresh all time highs today. Food companies are investing in a number of areas to make sure shoppers and investors stay hungry for what they offer. General Mills is launching around 200 new food products this year, and Hershey is expected to increase its marketing by 20 percent in the second quarter. But not all food makers are tasting so good. Kellogg is blaming sagging cereal sales on too busy consumers, saying sometimes consumers don't have time for a bowl of cereal. The world's largest cereal maker may also be hurting as more Americans shy away from carbs and sugar at breakfast, though it does offer healthier alternatives. Just trying to get things that are less in low in sugar um, and low carbs. I also like to get uh, a special case cereal because I know it's healthy and tasty. Many think there's good news ahead in the grocery aisle. As the cost of ingredients fall, so too will prices. S&P's Tom Graves thinks lower prices could lead to consumers stocking pantries and an overall uptick in sales volume, another bullish indicator for investors feasting on food stocks. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Courtney Reagan.